There are a lot of things about this job that are great, but this is one of the greatest. Because my next guest is a legendary musician whose music you're singing in your head right now. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Paul Simon. <laughs> Good to see you again. Nice to be here. Always look forward to coming. I always enjoy talking to you. That I am confused. I I heard a lot about a farewell tour. Mm -hmm. Is this the uh, I was just kidding tour? What is? <laughs> is this a comeback, Paul Simon? Um, no, the farewell tour was basically just to bump the prices <laughs> up. For... Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, Now, you're... No, what I said really was that that was a farewell tour. I don't intend to tour anymore, but I will perform uh, again. And uh, the monies that I make, I am going to donate to various causes that I believe in. Mm -hmm. uh... well, I understand that you. I heard that on the tour you were actually doing that, like in different locations. You would like donate to local organizations where. Yeah, so I would leave uh, I would leave a gift in every town that I played in as a thank you, and uh, they were usually for uh, ecological uh, groups. That, you know, occasionally music uh, studies for children, but mostly mostly for dealing with the planet. Well, this uh, this right here. Is this your entrance? Is this your entrance at uh, Corona Park? This is in uh, your final concert in Queens. I think this is you coming on stage. So you grew up in Queens, right? Yes. So what was that like to come on to do your final concert of, of, of a, your last tour in, in your hometown like that? Eh. <laughs> yeah, you know? You think you it's going to be mean. a big thing, and you're like, nah, yeah. another day. No, actually, I did. I really did enjoy it. It was about two miles from the high school that I went to, uh, and um, a 20-minute bicycle ride from where I grew up. Uh, you, got, you got the new album uh, here. It came out uh, in the fall. It's called uh, In the Blue Light. <laughs> this is... This is covers of uh, your own songs. You're re-recording re uh, some of your own songs here. Because well, you just shanked them the first time? What? <laughs> Why? Well, I didn't know you were going to sell this. I, don't, I didn't even want to come on to sell anything, but... <laughs> That's a really expensive television screen. Uh-huh. <laughs> and the album costs a lot, too. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you've yeah. re-recorded... Well, what I did was I picked ten songs that I thought were really interesting and good songs that didn't get much attention when they first came out, either because they were on an album that had a bunch of other hits, or they were on an album that had no hits mm -hmm. and didn't get... Yeah. So I picked songs that were my favorites, and then I rewrote the parts that I thought were weak. Like, there would be a song where I'd say, it was really good, the setup for the song was good, but the last verse didn't really explain the point clearly, so the song really could have been better. So I rewrote it. Uh, and I did that on oh, four, or five, four or five of the songs. It's really quite a treat to be, a, to be a, a composer and have the opportunity to go back and fix your mistakes. Well, one of the songs that you're going to do for us tonight is uh, maybe my favorite underappreciated Paul Simon song, which is Renee and George McCreet oh, with her dog you. after the war. Thank you. What, how, how, how did how did that song come to you? Why write about, you know, with these sort of surrealist images about Magritte and his wife and their dog? Uh-huh. Well, I was uh, out in California to do a, a festival with Joan Baez. Mm -hmm. And we were going to rehearse a duet. And we were at her house. And she had to go and take a telephone call. So I took a book of Magritte paintings down from the shelf, and I was leafing through it. And then there was this photograph with the caption that said, Renee and Georgette Magritte with their dog after the war. And I said, 
what a great title for a song. <laughs> and uh, then I thought, well, what can that song be about? It's a surrealist. So I took all these R&B groups from the 50s that I listened to when I was a kid, the Penguins and the Moonglows and the Orioles and the Five Satins, and I put those, song, those people, those groups, into the surrealistic picture of Renee and Georgette Magritte with their dog after the war. So it's a surrealistic song about a surrealist. Well, um, uh, the, the album, In the Blue Light, which he doesn't care about, is available now. <laughs> I like the album very much. We'll be I right back too. with a performance by Paul Simon. <laughs> 